So good morning everybody. We are down in Levining, California. We decided to go down to Yosemite but on the east side uh, of the mountains and boy uh, were we surprised by Mono Valley and Mono Lake that you could see right behind us. This place is amazing and is a hidden gem at least for us. Yeah. So in this town they have quite a bit of stuff as far as like history goes and like like how everything as far as water came from here and moved down into LA and, and how they're trying to make the, this lake uh, back up pretty much because they took all the water. And then I look over here and see this house, it's upside down. Like twist it straight upside down. I don't really know. Let's go check out why uh, why it's upside down. So this is actually saying that this house was built in 1956 and it was built as a tourist attraction. Like when do you see this at any time ever an upside down house? Crazy. We're at the visitor center right now so we're getting all our information for Yosemite to go check that out tomorrow. Um, so we'll keep you guys updated. So I would say if you guys are coming from Yosemite anywhere from north, do not go down I-5. Stay on the east side of the mountains and check out this place because it was 100% beautiful. However, if you are um, carrying or if you Tell are me. towing in an RV, um, do not go over the passes uh, or if you do if you do, time. yeah, be be definitely be experienced in it. It's like eight percent grade, so yeah. you're probably gonna have to stop off, let the truck cool down. So, yeah. So we're just above Yosemite, actually Glacier Point, and Glacier Point is actually pretty far down there. There's actually a line that goes pretty far. So we're kind of just sitting in the truck deciding if we need to maybe go a little bit higher and walk down there or what. vehicles was 100% worth it. Yes. You can see this view behind us is insane. It's a little chilly though, it so is. the wind and everything, um, my eye is currently watering, but. <laughs> Definitely brought, should have brought something warmer. Finley has a blanket, so she's yeah, happy. She's but, all right, if you're looking for like a one-stop shop just to see the entire Yosemite Valley, at this point would probably be the best because you could see Half Moon, you can see everything down where the lodge is, everything. It's all right here, all in this area. There's a bunch of places to see down in Yosemite Valley, and we only have one day here, uh, which is kind of a mistake on our side, but it is what it is. So we wanted to hit the most places that were the best. So we figured that this viewpoint was probably one of the best points that we could see the entire place. Um, we have two other points that we want to see. Uh, I don't remember them offhand. But we wanted to we wanted to maximize the time that we had here, and I think that we nailed it. Uh, and that was really just by talking to all of the Forest Service people. Everybody was super helpful, really nice people. Yosemite has been amazing. Mono Valley, uh, which is a super surprise to us, was just as amazing. It's time for us to head a little bit more south and we've actually added uh, a stop. We want to go check out Death Valley so we're going to pack up here and then rock all of our stuff and head down to that valley because we want to go to the lowest point. Ugh. 
that makes that makes today a travel day. So it's still considered summertime down in Death Valley, so they have most of their parks closed, um, which kind of sucks for us, but that's okay. Um, so because it's summertime, that means temperatures can still reach up over 100 degrees at night. We checked the weather this morning and it says it's around 70 degrees at night and then around 100 during the day, so we're about to go down there. The one campsite that they have open says they have 18 spots available that are hookups and uh, I don't know, like 100 something that are not. So we'll probably get a boondocking spot that does not have hookups. Uh, just to give you a frame of reference, we have been boondocking probably, I would say for the last week, I'll have to ask Court how many days, but we've been three days here, no hookups, and then right before here, we had no hookups as well. So we're kind of hoping that we can get some hookups, uh, recharge batteries a little bit. Um, our solar's been doing awesome. I have uh, four six volt uh, batteries, and I think lithium would probably be better. They're rocking pretty good. We can go through the whole night uh, running pretty much everything that we need, but in the morning they are dead, so we either have to uh, recharge with the panels, wait a little bit, or just hook up the generator, charge them real quick, which is not a problem for us. So we are on the side of the road, somewhere in a valley, kind of near Death Valley. I think it's past, it's like down this road. I thought this was Death Valley, it's not. I guess you have to go over this hill, and then you're in Death Valley. Um, it's really desolate here, it's like 80 degrees or something. 